I'm Gloria Locke, and as promised, we love to give you a little bit of art and a little bit of music, and this is for the visual artists, where we take you through step by step how to approach art and drawing and painting. And today I'd like to just kind of take you to one of those classes and you can get an idea of how to draw with soft pastels. Our pastels are very forgiving, so you don't have to worry about how it's going to look because in the end it always looks great. We start off with pastel in a blue. It's kind of like a blue line. Blue line is just kind of gives you a map of where you want to go in your drawing. We did that, and then what you want to do is what we call the core shadow. Now the core shadows are those shadows that are in the deepest part of, of the subject. We live on the blue planet. All your shadows are going to be in blue in the beginning. All shadows have blue in them. So if you don't take anything else with you today, take that much at least, right? So we want to grab out a dark blue. And by the way, pastels come pretty long, and so when you get them, the first thing you want to do is break them. And that's why they're in your box, and they're about small, so you can blend. And this is called the core shadow. You want to add the core shadow to, um, they're just spheres right now. I'm not even thinking of them as an apple and grapes at all. They're just spheres, and what I'm adding right now are the core shadows. So here's our core shadow. Let me go on and add the stem right now, too because uh, it kind of needed to be there. Once you lay in your core shadows, then you can uh, go on and get the colors of the apple. And you can see the apple has red, but not just red. It's got yellow and orange. And you actually want to go right over your core shadow and trap down even your blue line. Now there's different ways. Some artists like to use graphite, but I prefer a blue line because the pastels blend together with each other. You want to push down really, really hard. And what I'm doing right now is actually leaving part of the highlight. And you're wondering right now, why is she adding red to green grapes? Well, if you look really close like artists do, they use their eyes very closely. And you're going to notice on the grapes that there's red in them. So now I'm going to move into what we call the mid-tone. Mid-tones are lighter colors and they're getting toward the light. And there you can see that apple starting to look three-dimensional right now. And that's looking pretty good. And what we're going to do now is just add some yellow to the grapes too so everything has a little bit of unity. Just kind of random. What we'll do now is we'll start go in and add um, some really, really dark areas. Okay, just to start to shape. Now you're thinking, what is she using here? This is charcoal like we used last week. Charcoal is very forgiving. They're just ashes. Just let's get some green since the grapes are green. This box has different kinds of green, so naturally I'm going to use some different greens here. You just kind of fill it in. Keep in mind your core shadows. And then with pastels, what you want to do is build build to the light. That's right, highlights. Highlights on earth are always white, okay? White. So I just got a brand new piece of chalk for this job. What you want to do is really push down super, super hard to create the highlights. Every grape is going to have a highlight also. And here we go with this. Now we're going to start with what we call the cast shadows. Cast shadows are the ones that we always see people draw. They'll just draw a circle and then add a little shadow down at the bottom and think, oh, that's a sphere. Uh, no, you got to build it first and then we can add the cast shadows after that. Make sure you get those dark, dark areas. Here we go. You want to go in and start to add a nice dark background and that's going to pull everything forward and show that there's depth in your picture and your work. I'm just going to kind of make this look like a dream almost. Okay, and if you open your Seasons catalog, you're going to see this particular picture in there, which is why I chose this because uh, this is what we do. 
and level one. So let me go on and add like a little table down here just to kind of break it up some. Notice how I go right over the cast shadows. Sometimes I add white if I feel like I want to soften things just to kind of finish it off, make it a nice dreamy kind of look. If, if you were in my class right now, I would say, okay, does anybody have any questions? As we kind of finish together our still life in pastel. All right, wasn't that easy? That was a complete drawing. And I'm Gloria Locke. Thank you for joining us again here on SCV Arts and Entertainment. You're a VIP at SCBR.